Christmas is just a few days away and if you're anything like me, you might still be searching for the perfect gift. You want to give cute personalized present without overspending. Well, look no further, this video is made for you. I'll present 4 DIY gifts that I'm actually giving out this Christmas. Well, except for one that I'm keeping for myself. Bonjour, I'm Lou from Extra Cozy and welcome to Extra Cozy DIY, a YouTube channel where, well, you guessed it, we make all sorts of DIYs. So if this sounds like something you would like, subscribe and become a part of the Extra Cozy family. This first DIY project is Tove Top Poupouri Kit is a great gift for colleagues or to pair with the candles I'll show you later in the video. For this DIY, you will need a recycled container, spices, dried orange peels, rosemary, a ribbon, and that's optional, but a thick paper and a acrylic marker. If you, like me, already have all the necessary spices and save containers from your sauces or jams, for example, it won't cost you anything. The process is simple. Put your spices in the container and arrange them in a way that looks appealing from the outside. A stove top popuri kit is an arrangement of herbs and spices that you put in a pot with water and heat on the stove. Once it boils, the scent and steam will spread, perfuming the entire house with a heavenly fragrance. You can create all sorts of smells. And here's what I've used for my Christmas smell. Once you're happy with the result, just close the container. To add a special touch, I engraved the lid of my container with my M1 X tool engraving machine with a laser. And now we can choose a nice ribbon to wrap around it. Using an acrylic marker, write or draw something nice for the recipient. The great thing about acrylic paint is that when they're finished with the popori, they can simply wash off the paint and reuse the container as they please. You can give it as is, or you could write or draw instructions on how to use the popori with acrylic marker, again, or with a gift tag, which you can attach with the ribbon. The popori already smells wonderful. Just imagine how amazing the house will smell when they use it. I want to say that this next DIY is my favorite, but I really love all of them so much. But it kind of is. <laughs> With this painted water bottle, you are sure to impress. For this DIY, you will need a glass water bottle, glass or acrylic paint, and brushes and tools to paint. The process is quite simple. Using your paint, draw a small cute design like this adorable cloud. Repeat the same drawing all around the bottle, spacing the elements out evenly. You can paint whatever you prefer, but in my opinion, this technique results in better aesthetic. Be careful not to smudge the drawings you've already made, but if you do or if you make mistakes, don't worry. You can remove the paint and start over as long as you haven't cooked it yet. Here are a few simple design ideas you could paint if you don't want to paint clouds. You can draw lemons, daisies, smiley faces and cute sheep. If needs be, make a second coat to have a better result. The most challenging part is to wait for 24 hours, although the duration can vary based on the paint. After the wait, Cook it according to your paint's instructions and to minimize the risk of your bottle exploding. Although the risk is low, it is still possible. Place it in the oven while it's heating. This will prevent heat shocks. And if it has a lid, don't forget to remove it from the oven. And voila, I've already made two and I've been asked to make more. Plus, you can put it in the dishwasher. The next DIY are cute painted candles that would make a great bundle with the popori kit and a great gift by themselves as well. For this DIY, you will need some candles, acrylic paint, and brushes and tools to paint. Again, the process is quite simple. Take your candle and paint the design you want on it. To help you place and trace your element, you can use a mechanical pencil. 
It's hard to see on the camera, but it does carve out what you trace. In my opinion, a repeating small and cute element gives a better aesthetic. In the spirit of Christmas, I did two designs, one of holly with red berries and one of mistletoe with white berries. Since it's so easy and I have nothing more to explain while well, I show you how I painted mine, I will take this time to remind you to subscribe to the channel, like this video and leave a comment telling me what video you want to see next and or who is your favorite Harry Potter character. I know it has nothing to do with the video, but I'm curious. And voila! I love the end result so much, I'm actually keeping this for myself. <laughs> if you are wondering whether the acrylic paint will cause issues when lighting the candles, I tested it out and found out that it simply floats in the melted wax. However, never leave your candles, painted or not, burning unattended. The next DIY is a faux leather bookmark that would be great to offer to any bookworm. For this DIY you will need a thick faux leather, scissors or hot glue, foil that's optional and hot quill for the foil that is optional too. First cut a 3mm strip from your fabric, then cut a rectangle that will be your bookmark. Mine measures 3 by 14 centimeters. Trace the end of the rectangle and mark the middle of it a few centimeters from the edge. Use this mark to cut out a triangle at the end. Next, cut another triangle. Mine is 3 centimeters wide as well. On the inside of that last piece, mark a line 5 millimeter from the side edge all along the piece. You don't need to mark every 5mm on that line, like I did, however, it is necessary to mark every 5mm on the opposite edge, then cut from that edge to the line at each mark to create a fringe. Now, using hot glue, attach the thin strip to the end of the fringe piece and continue to roll with the hot glue to create a sort of pompon. Once it's thick enough, cut off the rest and finish gluing carefully. This next step is optional. You can cut a 3mm line on a scrap piece of fabric and slide the strip inside up until the pompon. Trace the round shape the pompon makes and cut it out. Then hot glue it to the end of the pompon for a finishing detail. Now, cut a 3mm line on the edge of the bookmark and thread the strip through it. Glue the end of the strip to itself and just make sure it's on the right side, not like I did. You could leave it like this or you can add a fan quote with foil and a hot quill. The quote I'm writing is encore un chapitre, which means one more chapter in French. And that's it. I enjoyed the process and the results so much, it was so quick to complete, that I decided to make a punch just for fun. I hope you enjoyed this video and found these last minute DIY Christmas gift ideas helpful. Remember, the best gifts are those made with love and thoughtfulness. Happy crafting and Merry Christmas! Also, I'll try to post a video before Christmas to show you different cute ways to wrap those presents. Okay, see you in another video. Ciao, ciao, take care. Bye-bye.